this is um, um, one of the more recent articles that I just put out. Okay. And um, this is in regards to, because I remember when you showed me this, and then I, I saw this picture right here. I said, now I remember, I wasn't here that day, but I remember um, the people talking about it. And nobody ever mentioned who this guy, well, they mentioned who he was, but I don't remember him because, you know, I'm not, I wasn't down in Georgia at the time. But I do remember they said they were talking to um, some of these elected officials in um, Georgia was talking to God. And then when I saw it, I said, okay. And then I talked to some other people who were there who saw that. They said, that ain't, that ain't, who? They said, who? Said, yeah, they said, they're saying that is uh, um, a Johnny Eugene Brown. That was, I was like, he said, man, no way. Said, yeah. I said, dude. Mm -hmm. And that's, and you know, as we go on, so I'm not going to go, go into great detail with it because I don't want people to read the article or go to your page or, you know, any one of the groups they can see this. But this just is an, another example of the lack of research, proper methodology. Mm -hmm. They lack it. They don't know how to do it. You had one guy that just got out of prison. For whatever, because I really wish I knew what he was in prison for, so then I can let the world know. But it's really strange to me how a mother can jump, leave prison, because I know a lot of hustlers, I know a lot of gangsters, killers. How you going to be in prison and then come home and then defend a uh, child molester? Uh, something ain't right with that. But I mean, that's another story. But this just is an, another example of how the gaslighting process is taking place on page 254. And they, they take the picture. Look at this, man. So we're supposed to look at this and say, oh, see, they was wrong. They did not knew Afro who knew. They was, I mean, they was running around mm -hmm. like they had found the Holy Grail. I was just like laughing like that. That's not that's not that man. They know in no shape or form, but they 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 again. This is they don't realize that they have become the same people that they used to beat up when Yoke was out. That y'all have psyched y'all own selves out to make yourself believe that somebody is somebody else, and the evidence came. Shout out to Mark Love one more time. I want to give a, a, a big shout out. To that brother because he the one that was in our group that's that said it was a guest and he told people that and that led to what, what you see right here so i definitely want to keep shouting now every time this topic come up i'm gonna shout out more give that brother a round of applause for we'll real some sound effects on this one yeah Absolutely. man so just when you're looking at it and you can go right to the you can right to the youtube channel and watch him in that this is Saying this is the same guy. Mm -hmm. This is the same guy. The Brother. same guy. Hey him. Hey him. Why are they lying on the deceased? And this right here is a bit. Why do you lie on the elderly? That picture you put right there, just the forefront, and the, and the fact you can see, you know, the the, the freckles and stuff. I don't have no freckles. The skin. Yes, the freckles. Yeah. Yeah. And so, wait a minute. So, there, see now, they suffer from that pseudoscience called lookership. Mm -hmm. And then that, 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 and that psychosis, they look, they say, oh, see, do you see the cyberns? Yeah, yeah, you see the cyberns? Yeah. Lookership. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly what they did. Al Carter set him up. Al Carter set him up once again, the Luciferian, Al Carter. <laughs> That's your biggest fan right there. Al Carter, love you. Al Carter threw it out there, and even when he threw it out there, and it's crazy because Quibble got my attention on it. The day he brought that picture in the group, he was like, "Yo, you know, I wonder about blah, blah, blah. And we was debating him the same day he put this crap out, and he still didn't know because Quibble pressed him on it, like, "Yo, you know, that that." You know, Afro Uno was taught by a tall Sudanese man, and she's like, okay, what else? Oh, I don't know, could that happen before I was born? Why are you passing on 
information and then you're gonna say, Oh, I wasn't born. You know, it's, it's the, you know, Al is, is famous for this type of foolishness. But this time it worked, it worked against them. All right. And they they bit it like a fish. And I'm pretty sure Al is rolling because Al said he took this picture. So Al knew who this person was. But he threw it out there. Okay. And that's the funny thing about it. If you didn't know that, Al took credit for taking that picture on the land. Okay. So right here, you can see. Mm -hmm. I mean, because this is a um, in 2001. And this is in the last part. Um, this is on a couple of years before his passing, mm -hmm. which was around 2012. And as you can see, the age progression, but they still the same features. Same, look at that. Look at that. Because <laughs> when we was looking for him, I'm like, if this guy was a politician and he died a couple years ago, I said he got to be. So he got to be. He got to be somewhere on 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 YouTube or something. That's why I just kept looking, and then eventually, eventually the video popped up. Especially with the with with his history, I said, man, somebody he had to be known because they was bigging him up since the seventies. He been doing, you know, he was the first black this, the first black that. I said, say, so gotta be some more than just pictures and and man that came up. I said, yo, that's it. Yeah. So you know, we definitely need to get his people involved, which I'm uh I'm I'm still looking into that with some of the folks I'm contacting with a couple of people, and right. that that'll come on and clean them on up. Because yes. these the Wapi and Sabian rogue Negroes is they just so hard up for wanting York to be the, the, the greatest of all things. Cognitive dissonance. And it makes no sense. He did teach Afro. The man, you already, you know, when you're done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show that that book and all that when you finish. So and I know him per, I know him personally. This guy here to the uh, right. Yeah. I know him personally. I got yeah, it. I know. Uh -huh. That's a yeah. uh, Reverend uh mm -hmm. Reverend That's um, Smith. Yeah. Alexander yeah, Reverend Smith. Smith. Yeah, I got his. Yeah, I remember him. I big dude. I remember. Yeah, him. yeah. He and he and Augusta. I, his his daughter went to school with my um with my niece. So mm -hmm. I know Reverend Smith. I've been knowing him for years. Yeah, good he, guy. Good guy. He had the good. distance good. He came like out him. of he came out of NAACP and put his reputation on the line for York. Absolutely. When all exactly. that stuff happened, that really uh -huh. missed that man credit. I know. All of that. He ruined the not just him. He yeah. also um, uh, ruined Jack Ellis's. Uh, yeah, history. I remember that, and a I whole bunch that. of other people. I because um, mm -hmm. I remember when we were we had we were asked to come down from um of DC and down to Georgia because uh, uh, uh Jesse Jackson was going to be on on the property. Mm -hmm. Now your, Jesse was doing his uh, voter registration drive down throughout the south, and of course he he was talking to coming down there to the Nawapian village, you know. And uh, he came down there, of course, the Nawapians wanted to exploit that because when we were standing uh, doing security, and I watched it all, I was standing on the side, me and the brother Jonathan Johnson, we were doing security, Big Tech, shout out to Big Tech. And, um, you know, he was looking at uh, when they were, when Jesse was over by the stage, and then uh, they tried to put the uh, Nawapian fez on his head, you know, the one with the unk. Mm -hmm. They tried to put it on his head, and then he, he took it, and then he pretended like, Hey, put it on, Jesse. Put it on. He put it almost. Did he? He didn't put it on. Right. He didn't put it on. Next thing you know, two weeks later, and then the Wapian bulletin comes out. He got they these a holes superimposed through Photoshop, a primitive form of Photoshop, put the fez on Jesse's head and gave the impression that Jesse Jackson was in the Wapian. I remember that. I remember you you broke that down a couple of times. And Jesse is nobody to be, uh, <laughs> especially just, since York said he how he was involved. Well, I ain't even going into all that. But yeah, York never came. And here's the thing: York never came out that day either. He didn't come out to meet Jesse. He didn't take any pictures with Jesse. Now he was when, when Al came down, but no, he, he was there. He was there, but he didn't come out. He probably knew. He probably watched that interview where um, what his name is. He, he died now. I spoke to the elder before he passed. He didn't I want think he, he just wanted to use him. Anybody listen? York was a a, a, a skillful manipulator. Manipulate. He was a skillful manipulator. Mm -hmm. He would bring. He would have people come down under some false pretense, 
and then have pictures taken with them. And the next thing you know, he put out a book and saying that they they are with him, or he touched their lives. Like if you look at the book, um, whatever happened to the Nubian Islamic Hebrews? Mm -hmm. He has a whole slew of of young rappers, and given the impression in the book that they were, but they were Nubian. They were part of the Ansar Rawar community in some mm -hmm. some way. I want to yeah. let me let me throw this in here. Uh, real quick, give him All right, let me stop. Let me stop. Your, you, 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 you keep it. I ain't, I ain't had a share of it. I just wanted to make this statement that you'll probably watch Stokely Carl Michaels. No, was it was it um Stokely Carl Michaels? Hold on. Um, yeah, Steve Coakley. I'm sorry, you probably seen Steve Coakley's VHS about how Jesse had something to do with MLK getting shot instead of okay. Uh, now, I because I was um. I was in I, I was in the um Steve Copley's uh, crew for a while mm -hmm. up until he died. Um I remember that and I remember the lectures that he gave on that um at the Blackburn Center. Um we would talk about it after the lecture. He would be at um George Avenue uh, Cafe, it'd be me, it would be Steve, uh, Dick Gregory, um what's the brother that passed away recently? Um um the comic. Um um, the comic they just died. Yeah, he recently passed away. You can even go. The, um, um, you know, um, Negro Dumps. Oh, yeah, Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney, yeah, Paul Mooney was there. Because, um, after the lecture, you know, because he lived up in Silver Spring, Maryland. So, you know, when I would have my table, he would come down from time to time and um, I could, um, you know, pass his flyers out for a lecture he was going to give. On there. And I remember him talking about that, you know. And, um, you know, I'm not gonna because I don't want to de deviate too far from it, you know, right. but, I, but that, that, that may have been something that he uh, referenced because, um, you did definitely know of Steve Copeland because I gave him videos of Steve Copeland. And then when I used to do my classes, when we would talk about the uh, the uh, Archon or um, the Sigma Pi Phi, we would talk about the Boule. Right. That was something that York never talked about. It wasn't in the doctrine. So when I would talk about it in my classes, he never said you shouldn't be teaching that in your classes. So he kept it in there. Oh, and, by, and I assume he must have studied up on it. And that may have made him apprehensive. Because I, I think even years ago, he did mention something to that effect regarding uh, Jesse Jackson. But I'm going to yeah. leave that alone for something else. But getting back to the lookership, mm -hmm. the Europeans should have at least remember the past, the dirty past when they assume based on that pseudoscience of lookership and saying that anybody, oh, if you see this picture here? This is from mm -hmm. a video. You can click I remember on that. This. Yeah. But for the people who may be seeing this for the first time, this gentleman here was on a, was pumping gas at a gas station in Georgia. You need to click that. They need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you need to click on that link. Let them see that. They got to see that. Okay, that's how you. So they, well, my point was, they should have learned their lesson from watching this stuff. Oh All yeah, right. don't, let's not forget. Not only are not they not just they exploring uh, the individuals that we talked about in here, they also exploited prodigy and got yeah. his mm -hmm. name in the book. And I remember him yeah. talking about he read some of the old books in right. jail. It's just prodigy, rest the power, but just part of the aware. Of, yeah. of York's plagiarism. Yeah. You know, and so, and they think that when he died, it was because of that. No, he been, that had nothing to do with that. That right. information is old, the stuff that 
they putting out now will get you killed more so than that. Because when I did my own studying, a lot of that information was already gone. That was it was old when York gave it to us. 